Now the EL70D has a nice pencil prism viewfinder, which is nice and big and bright. But it is a only of 98% accuracy. That means what you see in the viewfinder is actually only 98% of what is actually going to turn up in the actual image. So an extra 2% more will show up in the actual image, but still this is not a uh, big issue unless you are using ultra wide angle lenses. So um, in the viewfinder, there is a lot of data actually shown in the heads up display in the viewfinder. So basically there are just a bunch of numbers, but it's actually very, very simple. So once you look through the viewfinder, there is a grid. The grid can be toggled on and off. I have it on for now. So if it's off, you don't get a grid, so you get a nice clean viewfinder. But if the grid is on, you get the grid. So um, you can also see the AF points inside the viewfinder. Inside the viewfinder, you can clearly see the 19 AF points. And you can also toggle between AF modes in the viewfinder and you can still see a preview of them so it's very convenient and you can select your AF points and you can see your AF points so you can see exactly where you want to place your subject so apart from that we also have the little leveling thingy widget on the bottom of the viewfinder now on the leftmost of the viewfinder you can see the battery level so that's the battery indicator, so you can actually see how much battery you have left while you're shooting through the viewfinder. Now to the right of that, you will see the shutter speed. And so that is the shutter speed, and next to the shutter speed is the aperture f-stop value. So next to that is the light meter, and next to the light meter is the ISO value. Now the um, values to the right of the ISO value is actually um, the amount of shots the buffer can still take. So let's say it says 94 on there, that means I can take continuously 94 shots before the buffer fills up. Now of course that uh, figure will be significantly smaller if you're shooting in RAW mode and it will be larger if you're shooting in JPEG mode. However, do note the maximum value that it can display is actually 99. So anything above 99 shots will still be displayed as 99. So when you have quiet focus, you will see a green circle next to that. So that is basically um, an indicator saying that your image is in focus.